everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to No Pain, No Gain, everybody. Coach Payne here with you today. Friendly reminder, you do need some equipment today. I have some kettlebells um, and some dumbbells. If you just have dumbbells, that's fine too, or just some household items. Make sure that they are safely movable, though. We are going to be going overhead, and we're going to be doing some deadlifting today, so make sure you have a variety of weights if possible. We're also going to do a fun different plank variation, so if you have a lower box of sorts, go ahead and grab that. Make sure it's sturdy, um, not too high like a kitchen chair or anything like that. If you don't have that option, no worries, I will offer a different variation when we get there. Other than that, just do a quick safety check of your space. Make sure there's nothing for you to slip or trip on. Make sure you have some water handy. And above all, just remember that this is your workout. So make sure that you take rest when you need it, grab water when you need it, and push yourselves appropriately. Feel free to throw some fun music on for yourselves. And we'll get rolling. Fun fact of the day, it was a slightly longer one, so I'm going to pull it up here. Uh, the lowest recorded temperature is in... Vostok Station, Antarctica, the temperature recorded was negative 129 degrees Fahrenheit. That was on July 23rd, 1983. It has yet to be broken. No wonder all the ice caps are melting. It can't get down as low as it needs to be. If it's normally below 100, then geez. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start in a shin box today. So we're sitting on top of our hips. Feet are swept over to the side. Hips, knees, and ankles are all 90 degrees. From here, we're going to take that back knee. We're just going to try and pick it up. So whatever knee is behind you, try and pick it up. If your foot or hip gets a little crampy there, that's okay. Lower. And then here's the tricky part. We're going to try and lift that back foot up off the ground. This is where the cramps really start to set in. Take your time. Hold it there. Go ahead and keep alternating there. We're going to get four more on that same side. Pause at the top of each. If you need a little extra help with that back foot, you can use your hand to lift it and see if you can hold it there. Really work in that internal external rotation through that hip there. Once you're done, take your time switching sides. Just sweep those feet over to the other side. Same thing, we're going to start by lifting the knee up. Hold it there, and then take your time lifting that back foot up. Y'all got four more on that same side. Take your time. Pause at the top. When you are done, go ahead and flip it over into a plank. Got to warm up our plank. So we're going to be on our hands. Or knees, whatever's comfortable for you. Sorry, my computer was dying. And let's run through our plank checklist here. So whether you're on your feet or your knees, we're going to start by packing those shoulders down. Let's push the ground away from us, creating space between those shoulder blades. Make sure those fingers are spread nice and wide. You have a solid base of support. From here, let's tuck that tailbone and zip up your core. If you're on your toes, make sure you reach those heels to the wall behind you. If you're on your knees, make sure you have a nice straight line from head to knees. Maybe we tuck that chin back. We're still holding. And take your time. Go ahead and widen up those knees. Sit your hips back towards your heels for child's pose. Let's go right hand behind the head. We're going to rotate open and close and open and close. you got three more on that right side. Take your time. Open, open, open. Pause in that rotation. When you're done, you guessed it, you got five on the left side. Ready, set, go. If one side feels a bit more limited than the other, maybe you do an extra rep there. Maybe you hold that end range a bit longer. Make sure those hips are all the way back into the heels so we can isolate that upper back here. Last one. Open, open, open. And let's go ahead and find that plank once more. Run through that checklist. Push the ground away from you. Squeeze all the things, tuck your tailbone. Nice straight line from head to heel or head to knees. When you're done, let's go ahead and start to walk those feet up towards our hands. And we're going to try and grab those toes. So we're in a bit of a forward fold here. This will feel a little awkward, that's okay. So we're in a forward fold. From here, let's try and lower those hips, get those elbows inside the knees. 
So feet are nice and wide. We're gonna go chest tall, try and get your hips right next to your heels. So push those hips forward, tuck your chin back, head to tailbone is stacked. Go ahead and send those tail feathers up to the ceiling, stretch out the back of those legs, let your head hang heavy. Let's squat it back down. Find that deep squat, elbows inside the knees. You can widen up that stance as needed. Make sure those heels are on the ground. If you need to keep those hips a little higher, keep them higher. And let's stretch it up once more. Tail feathers up to the ceiling. Let's drop it back down for one last squat. Once you've found that deep squat, let's go ahead and take our right thumb, reach it up towards the ceiling. Lifting that arm. Now let's try and turn that palm so it faces the wall behind us. Get a little extra rotation through those shoulders. Yeah, take your time setting that right hand back down. Let's lift the left arm. Reach, reach, reach. Squeeze those cheeks. Don't forget about those hips. Rotate through that left shoulder. Once you've done that, go ahead and set that left arm back down. Stretch it up one last time. And take your time rolling on up. Ooh, those deep squats will get you. Tell you, nothing's better than taking a break from a meeting and sitting in a deep squat for a couple minutes. All right, coming up next, we are going to start waking up our spine. Let's go nice wide feet. Make sure you got space around you. We are going to do some global rotations. Arms are just flopping around your body. Opposite foot comes up off the ground, so we're rotating through those ankles, hips, and upper back. Let those arms get nice and floppy. Go ahead and lock those feet in, just the hips and upper back are rotating. And squeeze your glutes, lock those hips in, just the upper back. One more each. And rest. All right. Let's start to wake up those ankles, fire up our nervous system. Let's start going in place. Nice and easy, everybody with me. We're ready, set, go. And let's start to keep those feet a little flatter. Pull those toes up to the ceiling. Nice, rigid, stiff pogos. Get those arms going. Reach your head up to the ceiling. Nice and tall. Higher. And rest. Nice work, team. All right. First block, we are doing power, technique, and core. We are doing lots of hinging today. So we're going to do a power exercise, a technique exercise to help our hip hinge, and then a little bit of stability core with some calf raises. So our first exercise, I'm going to use a kettlebell. You're welcome to use a dumbbell. Everybody go ahead and just run through this body weight with me. So we're in a hip hinge. We're going to start to stand up as we do so. Thumbs drag up our zipper line. Shrug, 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 and then catch. So that is how we're going to do our clean, whether you're using a kettlebell or a dumbbell. So quickly it'll look like this. We're going to snap those hips up, catch our implement, slowly setting it back down. So remember that draw and shrug, draw, shrug, catch. Those will be the cues for that. You have six total. Go ahead and get started whenever you are ready. Make sure that they are snappy. If you have never done these before, try them slow first. See how it goes. You got six total, everybody. This is a hip dominant exercise. All that power is being generated from the ground up. We're using our core and our arms to transfer that power into our implement so that we can pick it up off the ground. Once you've done six, go ahead and set your implement off to the side. Go ahead and meet me on your knees, on your mat. We're gonna dig those toes into the ground behind us. What we're gonna do from here is cross our hands over our chest and sit those hips back towards our heels. Head to tailbone stays nice and straight. Snap those hips up and forward. You got six total, start slow. Snap it up. Again, this should feel like your hips are leading the movement. Torso and chest and head are following. You might start to feel those hamstrings working a bit. That's excellent. Let's get one more here, everybody. Once you're done, take your time standing on it. Last little exercise of the day. So when we do cleans and stuff like that, we are working on triple extension. So extension through the ankle, knee, and hip. So we're gonna work on slowly controlling those ankles. 
with some eccentric calf raises. So you're gonna start up tall. We're gonna go in slow on the way down. Find that space where you start to lose control at the bottom. Try and go a little slower and control it. You have six total. You're welcome to put your hands on the wall in front of you for a little extra support or on the side, whatever you got. Take your time moving on down. You got six total. You might start to feel those calves working. You might even feel a little burn in those hammies or the base of your glutes. That's perfect. Everything works together. Make sure we're getting right up on the ball of that foot there. And rest. All right, y'all. That is round one. We have four more. We're going to start with those goblet cleans. You have six reps of all three exercises. Make sure those cleans get snappier and cleaner <laughs> as we carry on. You got six total. As you initiate the movement, think about your hips springing out of a slingshot. So up and forward. Huzzah! Sharp exhale with those hips. Keeps tension in that belly. The more tension we have in our bellies when we do power exercises like that, the better we can transfer that force, the cleaner the movement is, the better we protect all of our joints and stuff. All right, you got six heel sits, leaning forward. Remember, head to tailbone stays nice and straight. So maybe at the top, pretend like somebody's gonna whack you in the belly. Then you lean into that hip hinge. Make sure that core is activated. Maybe you pause at the bottom so you can get a little lower. Once you've done six, you have your slow calf raises, eccentric calf raises. If those eccentrics feel a little easy for you, you can start to work on going slow on the way up and slow on the way down. Remember, it's your workout. You make it work for you. Stay down nice and tall. Squeeze those cheeks at the top. We don't often think of our glutes as assisting in the calf raise, but they do. Once you've done six, take some rest, grab some water. We are going back to the top with those goblet cleans. You got six goblet cleans when you're ready. These should feel just as snappy, if not snappier, than our very first set. So take whatever rest you need to make that happen. Slowly setting that implement down, especially if you're working with something heavier. If you're working with some lighter weights and you want to make these more challenging, go ahead and just add a couple extra reps. Or if you're working with lighter weights by choice, because you're trying to figure out the movement, again, another great opportunity to add a couple extra reps in. Let your nervous system do some learning. Once you've done six, you got heel sits. If these are for same concept, just keep track of your core. Let your hips lead the movement. Once you're done, you got those calf raises. Make them slow and controlled. Let's make sure at the top, let's check in with where our ankles are at. We don't want to be out here. We want everything to be nice and stacked. Cool. So all the toes and the ball of your foot are nice and solid on the ground there. Try and control that bottom phase. Find that point where you start to lose it. Hang on to it for an extra second. Think about it, if we can't do this slow and controlled right here, what the heck is happening when we're moving quickly, when we're jumping, any sort of triple extension exercise. Ankle strength is super duper important. When you're done, grab some water. We only have two more sets. We're gonna go ahead and get started with those goblet cleans again whenever you're ready. If you need to take more rest, go for it. You got six total. At least six, if you're working on repping it out, you can get more, that's fine. 
If you're working with super heavy weights and you feel really good about these, go ahead and take a couple reps off. Just make those first few clean and strong. Let those hips drive the movement. Once you're done, heel sits. Again, learning how to let those hips drive us. Our hips are so, so important. They are the connection between all of the force that gets generated from the lower body that uh, gets connected into our upper body. How well we use our hips and our trunk dictate how well we move. Once you have six heel sits, say that 10 times fast, haha, <laughs> you have slow calf raises. You can play around with your arm position here too. If these are feeling too easy, you can add some reps. Try to go hands behind the head. Play around with it. See what feels good. See what feels challenging. Push yourselves appropriately. Hey, at the top, pretend like somebody's going to come up and push you over. How would you fight it? Squeeze all the things. Once you've done six, take a rest. If you have been to my class before, you know the drill. When I say last set, you say best set. You do not have to unmute if you don't want to, but we're going to try it all together. Last set. Best set. Let's get it. Best set does not mean perfect. It means it is the best movement your body is capable of doing today. So take a little rest if you need it. Let's make those goblet cleans look awesome. I know they will. When you're ready, you got six. Drag those thumbs up your zipper line. Big shrug at the top. Hips are driving the movement, y'all. Last one, best one. Come on, knock it out. Once you're done, you got your heel sits. Maybe you lean forward a little bit, challenge that core, challenge those hamstrings, a little body weight, razor curl action. Take your time, hang on to it. Once you're done, you got slow calf raises. If, if you're moving a little slower or a little faster, that is a-okay. Just make sure your movement looks and feels good. Remember, if it doesn't look good, it doesn't feel good, it's probably not doing a whole lot of good. Let's make sure we're only doing good for our bodies. Take your time on those calf raises. Make those last couple the longest and strongest you've done yet today. Add a few extra seconds on that lowering phase. When you're done, take a rest, grab some water. Block one is in the books. Nice work, team. If you're working out with a buddy, give them a high five. If you're working out by yourself, give yourself a pat on the back. Way to show up for that first block. All right, everybody. While you're resting, I will demo um, our first strength block. So this next one, you're going to need some heavier weights, if possible, for a deadlift. If you don't have heavier weights, just use whatever you got. We are going to be going for 45 seconds. I'm going to turn this way. So again, lots of hinging. I told you at the beginning. We're gonna let those hips sit back. Back is still flat. Let the back of those legs drive you up. I'm using a kettlebell, so it's much easier to set it all the way down on the ground. If you're using smaller dumbbells, you do not have to go that low. Just stop wherever it feels comfortable for you, okay? We got 45 seconds of those. After that, we're going to do an Arnold press with some dumbbells. So you're gonna need something a little lighter. Arms stay at 90 degrees. We're gonna open and then press. Back down to 90, bring it back together. If you cannot go overhead without your back looking like this, just do the open closes. I promise you will still get a nice burn. We're going 45 seconds for those. Last but not least, we're going to use that crazy new implement that I was talking about. This is called a Copenhagen plank. So we're going to be working our adductors. You're going to start with your top leg on the box. Hold the plank. Woohoo! 
Your ankles on the box is going to be much more challenging. Knee on the box will be a bit easier. We're going to hold for 20 seconds on each side. If you don't have that option, we're going lateral plank all day. Cool beans? All right, everybody, let's get to work. We got 45 seconds of deadlifts on the clock. We'll go in five, three, two, one. Hit it. Feet are just wide enough for your weight to land in between. If you're using dumbbells, feet are hip distance apart, nice and narrow. We got 25 more seconds. Use the back of those legs to drive you up. Deadlifts are both a hamstring, glute, and core exercise. Don't let them fool you. They are so much more than just hammies. And rest. They're actually a great total body exercise. Lots of upper body. Deadlifts are great. I could deadlift all day. All right, everybody. Coming up next, we got those Arnold presses. Grab your lighter dumbbells. We're going in two, one, hit it. 45 seconds. Open. Press. Down. And in. Let's bring back that big bad gym bully. They're gonna come up and punch you in the tummy. Tighten it up. Don't let them do it. Only press as high as is comfortable for you. Notice that point where you start to lose your lower back. Just keep it there. That's fine. Y'all, we got 10 more seconds. Let's keep it going. Enjoy that burn while it lasts. And rest. All right. Copenhagen plank. This is a toughie. We got 20 seconds each side. If you're lucky enough to have a chair or a bench, you can wiggle your bottom leg under there. If you don't have that option, just go bend knee on the bottom or you can kick your leg out. 20 seconds each side. Ready, set, go. So really digging that foot into your implement so you can feel those inner thigh muscles. If you're holding your lateral plank, hip forward, shoulders back. Keep those hips nice and strong. We got five more seconds. And rest. Switch it up. Ready? We'll go in three, two, one. Hit it. Now this one takes a bit longer to get set up for. Give me a nice long transition there. Squeeze those inner thigh muscles. Push the ground away from you with that bottom arm. Five seconds, everybody. Keep holding. Come on. And rest. Whew. All right, y'all. If that first round of those Copenhagen planks felt any sort of pain, should have felt challenging, but any pain in the knees or anything like that, Try the modification where you put your knee on the box next time, or just do the lateral plank. Remember, we want it to feel good, uh, not painful. Hey, one down. We got three more rounds of that strength block. Go ahead and grab water if you need it. We're gonna start with those deadlifts. 45 seconds on the clock. We'll go in three, two, one, hit it. Hips lead the movement. Let's narrow up that stance just a bit. Those feet should land right under the hips. I know y'all are working hard out there with me. Let's keep it going. We got 25 seconds. Find a pace, stick with it. If you're working with heavier weights, maybe move a little slower. If you're working with some lighter weights, feel free to speed it up, rep it out. Whatever you gotta do to get that burn going. 10 seconds, y'all, come on. One more. Rest. Woohoo! All right, everybody, we got those Arnold presses coming your way. In five, three, 
two, one. Press it out. We're opening. Press it. Make sure we're stopping at 90. Oh, I went backwards. So that's kind of fun. Reverse, reverse. 30 seconds, everybody. Let's keep it moving. Find that pace. Stick with it. To so all my new friends out there, you made it this far. We are halfway through class. You made a commitment to yourself. You made it here. Let's honor it. We got five more seconds. Come on. And rest. Woohoo! All right. Copenhagen plank or lateral plank, whatever you like. If you're feeling a bit unstable on one hand, go ahead and drop it down to your forearm. That's fine. Whatever you need to do to, to successfully complete the movement. Side A, we're going in three, two, one. Hit it. Hips forward, shoulders back. Ten seconds, everybody. Come on, hold it. Keep it strong. And rest. Take your time, flip it over. Remember, this should feel challenging, but not painful. Make it work for you. Two, one, hit it. Squishy surface is not ideal. Please. 10 seconds, everybody, come on, keep those hips up. Nice straight line from head to heel. And rest. Woo! Y'all take notice if one side felt trickier than the other for those. That's totally normal. Maybe you hang out on that trickier side for a bit longer next time. Challenge it. All right, everybody, that is two sets down. We got two more to go. Let's take a quick second, grab some water. We'll get started with those deadlifts in 15. Deadlift docks in time. All right, everybody. Go ahead and get your weights ready. We're going deadlifts for 45 seconds. Ready, set, go. Check in with your posture in that bottom position. Is it as strong as it was at the top? If not, fix it. You know your body. You know what you need to do. Let's get it done. We got 20 seconds, everybody. Maybe we squeeze those shoulders together a little tighter. If you're feeling a little stretch in the back of the legs, that's perfect. Five seconds. Rest. Ooh, we're going to feel those tomorrow, y'all. All right. Arnold Press is coming your way. Go ahead and grab those lighter dumbbells. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. 90 degrees, nice and solid. Open, press, down, close. If you can get all the way overhead, let's make sure we're straightening out those arms. Biceps go right next to those ears. They're best friends. Let them hang out together. We got 20 seconds, everybody. Keep it moving. I'm right here with you. Ten seconds, y'all. Come on. You can do anything for ten seconds. Hold strong. Squeeze those shoulders together as you open. Rest. All right. Copenhagen plank. If these are starting to feel trickier and trickier, it's good. It means you're working hard. Remember, make it feel good. We're going in two, one, hit it.
Top arm can do whatever you like, wherever you feel most balanced. Let's create some space in that bottom shoulder. Push the ground away from you. Get long. And rest. Switch it up. Ready, set, go. Keep those hips up. Come on, y'all. Adductors are working. Obliques are working. Shoulders are working. Total body. Hold strong here. Almost there. And rest. Woo -wee. All right, y'all. You know the drill. Last set. Best set. Let's crush it. Grab some water. Take a little rest. We'll get started in 20. Remember, best set does not mean perfect. It means the best movement that you are capable of doing today. We've had lots of reps, lots of practice with all these exercises so far. Let's dial it in. Finish this last set strong. We'll be going in 10. Get those weights ready for your deadlifts. And three, two, one. Last set, best set. Here we go. Close the door with your butt. Drive on up. Shoulders stay stacked together. Like you are serving someone breakfast and you don't want to spill the tray. Gotta keep everything nice and sturdy. 15 seconds, everybody. Last few right here. Come on. Leave it all right here. Rest. All right. Arnold presses. Guess which Arnold they're named after. <laughs> all right, everybody. 45 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. Those shoulders start to burn. Let them burn. We've worked this hard already. We made it this far. Don't give up now. This is our decision point. When we fight through that burn, when we choose to lean into the struggle, that's how we get stronger. Almost there, y'all. Come on. Five seconds. Right here with me. Let's go. And rest. All right, everybody. Last 20 seconds on each side for this, these uh, Copenhagen planks. I know they're challenging, but we're going to make the most of it. Go ahead and get set up. Two. One. Hit it. Squeeze all the things. Squeeze all the things. Hips forward, shoulders back. Big smiles, everybody. Come on. This is your last set of these. Let's show them some love. Rest. Switch sides. Last 20 seconds of these, y'all, I promise. This is your hardest core work of the day. Ready, set, go. Push the ground away from you. Stay strong. Almost there. Five seconds. Do not stop. You got this. Rest. Oh my goodness. Nice work, team. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Give your buddy a high five. I have my invisible friend sitting right here on the uh, ottoman. Is that lead? Uh, grab some water quickly if you need it. We are going into strength block two. We're going to show up for that second block, everybody. Hey, other fun fact of the day. There was a study that was done with mice in a cage. There was an owl looking at them, so obviously a predator. And the mice that chose to run showed an increase in the stress hormone cortisol. The mice that chose to stay and froze showed an increase in the stress hormone cortisol. The other mice that 
were obviously scared, but they chose to stay and like try and fight off the owl. Obviously, they're a little silly, but they showed an increase in the stress hormone cortisol and dopamine, which is a happy hormone. So we are innately wired to lean into the struggle. So when I say lean into the struggle, I only mean well, I promise. All right, everybody. You're going to need a lighter kettlebell or dumbbell for this next one. It's a little awkward, so why don't you all just walk through it with me. We are going to start with our implement. We are going to sit down in a chair, put that implement in our hip pocket. We are going to snap our hips forward, rotate, throw that implement overhead. So we're pivoting through that outside foot and hip, sitting back down, rotating up. Cool. You can start slower, pull the dumbbell across your body and press. Once you feel comfortable with that, you can make it more of a power exercise. After that, you're going to need another lighter weight. We're doing an overhead weighted glute bridge. So my weight is here, and we're glute bridging for 30 seconds. Option to go further overhead to make your life more challenging or add heavier weight. And then finally, we're going to do some pillar bridge oblique dips. You can do these from a full pillar bridge or on your knees. We're just dropping those hips side to side, working those obliques. We'll be on our forearms for those, not our hands. 20 seconds each for those hinge rotational lifts, 30 seconds of everything else. We got four rounds. Go ahead and grab your first weight. Let's get started. Everybody with me. Ready, set, go. Hinge, rotate and lift. Pivoting on that ball of the foot. Shining your belt buckle towards the opposite wall. Control that dumbbell on the way down. These are tricky, so take your time. Piece them together. Rest. Other side. Ready, set, go. So we're hinging. I told you, lots of hinging today. Rotate and lift. We practiced these pivots when we were doing our global rotations and our warm-up. So again, think about rotating through that ankle and that outside hip. Almost there. And rest. Okie dokie. Overhead weighted glute bridge. If you'd rather just do regular glute bridges, by all means, go for it. Grab your weights. We're going 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. If that weight is way overhead, make sure those armpits are squished down so those lats are doing the work. This provides our core with a little extra stimulus. Five more seconds, everybody. Come on. Get those hips up. Rest. Flip it over. We got pillar bridge oblique dips. Find those forearms. We got 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set. Go. So think about reaching the front corner of that hip down towards the ground. Use your core to pull it back up. Say, hey, get back here. 10 seconds, everybody, come on. If it burns, let it burn. And rest. Woohoo! Nice work, y'all. All right. That is one uh, round down. We got three more to go. We're going to start from the top with those hinging rotational lifts. We got 20 seconds each side. Again, if these are new to you, take your time. Piece it together. Find your hinge, drag the dumbbell across, and then press. We got 20 seconds each. Ready, set. Go, hinge, rotate. If overhead doesn't feel good for you, lock that dumbbell into your chest. Just focus on the rotation. Five seconds, come on. Rest. Hey, before we switch sides, take that pivot foot. It's not just hanging out there. It is screwed into the ground. It is applying pressure so we're nice and stable from the ground up. Ready, set, go. Is 
Sitting back into those hips ever so slightly. Find that base position. Nice athletic stance. Five seconds here. Rest. All right. Weighted glute bridge. We got 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Hit it. Option to bridge here, or you can hold. Whatever you need to do to feel that burn. If you got a heavier weight, maybe take a little bend in those elbows. If it's lighter, straighten them out, go further overhead. Make sure those armpits are working. We got 10 more seconds. Come on, everybody, get those hips up. No lazy bums today. Keep holding and rest. Nice work, everybody. All right, pillar bridge dips. If these feel awkward for you, feel free to just hold your pillar bridge. That's fine. You can add a step out. It's your workout. Make it work for you. 30 seconds. Go. Make sure we return to that full pillar bridge in the middle every time. Tucking that tailbone, zip up that belly button. We got 10 more seconds, everybody. Drop it down, pick it back up. And rest. Woohoo! All right, everybody, two down, two to go. Grab some water. We're gonna start with those rotational lifts in just a second. All right, just to clarify, that sit is not a full squat. It is a teeny tiny hinge, and then we're rotating through those hips and that ankle pivoting. Kind of like swinging a baseball bat, but more vertical. All right, everybody, 20 seconds each side. Pick a side, start on. Three, two, one, let's go. Sit, rotate. If you're going for power here, snap those hips, sharp exhale. As you rotate, just like a kettlebell swing, rest, take your time, switch sides, ready, set, go, hinge, pivot and lift, pivot, so think about that dumbbell coming down and across your body. And then as we sit back, we bend those knees just a touch. And rest. All right. Blue bridges. Y'all, we're cruising through this. We made it this far. Let's keep it rolling. We got 30 seconds. Two, one, let's go. Heels are digging into the ground. Crack a walnut between those cheeks. Halfway, everybody, keep it rolling. Whether you're holding or bridging, keep it. Stay disciplined. We got five more seconds. Come on. And rest. All right. It's easier to stay disciplined in a glute bridge when you have a big, scary monkey looking down at you. All right. We got a pillar bridge, oblique dips, 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Set, go. Gas, break. Dip, dip. Halfway, y'all, come on. Whether you're holding or moving, keep it strong right here. We're all in the same boat. And rest. All right, everybody, you know what to do. Last set. Best set. Woo. Let's get it. Remember, clean the strongest movements you can handle today. Let's start with those uh, hinge rotational lifts. 
20 each side. This is your last 20 seconds of each of these. Let's make them count. Ready, set, go. Hinge, sit back, rotate. Maybe you lean away from that pivoted foot. Lean into that front hip a little. We got 10 more seconds, come on. And rest, switch sides. Right into it, let's go. Almost there, everybody, come on. Five more seconds, make it count. Rest. Woohoo! All right. Last 60 seconds of work for this block, and then we are into our final ESD block. Let's stay strong all together. 30 seconds of glute bridges. Two, one, go. If you want more hamstrings here, you can walk those heels out. Do what you gotta do to get a nice little burn here. It's your workout, make it work for you. 10 seconds, everybody, come on. Keep holding, keep moving, whatever you gotta do. Feel that burn, give it some love. Rest. All right, last 30 seconds of core work here. Ready? Set, go. Find that pillar bridge. We're dipping. As you pick your hips up, squish that belly button back towards your spine. They're best friends too. Let them hang out together for a second. Pause in the middle. Find that pillar bridge. Almost there. 10 seconds. One more. Make it count. Rest. Holy shnikes. Nice work, y'all. Take a quick second. Grab some water if you need it. We are in our last block of the day. While you are resting, I will explain what we're doing. So we got three exercises. Our goal for this circuit is to start with a really high intensity, and then the last two exercises will be more like active recovery. So they might feel a little bit easy, but that's the point. Because when we circle back to that very first exercise, we want to be rested enough so that we can keep that intensity up. That's how we burn more calories. So, first 10 seconds, we are doing base rotations. So we're in our base position, hips are back. You have a line in front of your feet. We're hopping over that line, nice and low on those toes. The faster you go, the more intense it's gonna be. 10 seconds of those. After that, we're doing 10 or 30 seconds of single leg lowering. So, belly button squish down, just lowering one leg at a time. You get a little bit of core work there, it should still feel fairly easy, though. Last but not least, we are flipping over for child's pose. Wide knees, narrow feet. And you just get to hang out and breathe. Feel free to pop it up into a down dog as well if that feels good for you. Cool? 10 seconds of the first one, 30 seconds of the last two. We're going to go for four rounds. See how much time we have after that. Go ahead and get yourself set up for those base rotations. Start low and leg on those toes. Speed it up as you get more comfortable with it. Everybody with me. Ready, set, go. 10 seconds faster. Rest. Woo. Nice work, y'all. All right. Go ahead and drop down into that single leg lower and on your max. Feet are up. 30 seconds here. Ready, set, go. If one leg at a time still feels way too easy for you, you can do both legs. You know, we want to make sure we're actively recovering, though. Heart rate should be going down just a bit. Breathing rate's going down. All that good stuff. If you like, you can bend those knees. This might feel like stretching in some places. It might feel like work in other places. That's great. Almost there. Rest. All right. Last 30 seconds here. Child's pose. Breathe it out. Remember that first 10 seconds of base rotations should be so intense that your heart rate is still slowing down here. 
If you have the option for those base rotations, you can hold a weight, make your life harder. Let's get one more breath here. And rest. All right, bring it back up to the top. All right, y'all, we're going high intensity, right into it. Base rotations, ready, set, go, turn it on. Nice work, y'all. Single leg lowering, 30 seconds. Let's go. Squish that belly button down. Remember, it's best friends with your spine. They love each other. They want to hang out. Hands can stay on the ground. Give yourself a little extra support. Almost there, everybody. Five seconds. And rest. Flip it over for child's pose. Y'all, you can do child's pose here. You can go up into a seal stretch. Whatever you feel your body needs today. Whatever it is, it should feel nice and calming. One more breath here, all together, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And rest. All right, everybody, two down, two to go. Let's go right into it. We got base rotations. Find that base position. We're going in three, two, one, go. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Faster. Rest. Woo. The legs are feeling it. Single leg lowering, y'all. Let's go. If those base rotations feel awkward, that's okay. Maybe you make that your habit homework next few days. Start slow. Get comfortable with the movement, and then that way you can come back and do them stronger next time. Stronger and faster. We got 10 more seconds here. Keep that belly button squished down. Maybe you tuck your chin a bit. And rest. All right. 30 seconds of breathing, whichever variation you like. My hip flexors are mad at me today, so I'm going to do a little seal stretch. Y'all do you. It's your workout. Let's get one more breath here. And rest. All right, everybody, you know what to do. Last set. This set. Last set of the whole day. Let's make a count. We got 10 seconds. Find your base position. Three, two, one. Hit it. Faster, come. There's a man chasing you. He's going to eat you. Rest. Whew. Nice work, everybody. All right, we got single leg lowering. Y'all, I know we're coming up on time here. If you gotta go, you gotta go. It's all good. Your habit homework this week is to set calendar reminders for yourselves to get up and move throughout the day. Even if it's not a full class, just set a timer for five minutes. Do some stretching. Take a walk around the block. Whatever you gotta do to get your body up and out of your chair for a few minutes every day. It will thank you later, I promise. One more rep here, keep that tummy strong, and rest. All right, y'all. That'll take us into our cool down. Remember the cool down is just as important as the workout itself, so feel free to hang out if you have time. We're gonna start by flipping over, and we're gonna go into a seal stretch. Elbows or hands on the ground, whatever's cozy for you. Get two more big breaths here. When you're done with that third exhale, take your time. Find a down dog. Tail feathers up to the sky. 
Think about tilting those hips so those tail feathers go even higher. Back is flat. You might feel the back of those legs lengthening. Roll those biceps towards your ears. Push the ground away from you. Let's get two more big breaths here. Take your time coming down into a plank. Let's pull that right foot forward, left leg stays straight back for a nice pigeon. We're sitting right on top of those hips. As you exhale, let your breath and gravity do their thing. Those hips relax, toward, relax towards the floor. One more big breath here. Take your time finding those hands on the floor. Find a down dog. Let's get one more big breath here. As you exhale, tilt those tail feathers up. When you're done with that down dog breath, pull that left leg forward, right leg stays behind, sitting right on top of those hips. Let's get two big breaths here. When you're done with that last exhale, take your time unwinding, find a nice comfortable seat. That is all I have for you today, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, your habit homework is to set a few calendar reminders for yourselves just to get up and out of your chair, even if it's just for a few minutes every day. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all soon.